Hello fairy pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. So something exciting today I am actually using my new mic. Yay! It's like what three years since I decided to buy a mic for my voiceover videos finally, right? This week I am using my June Mystery Weekly Kit. I'm going to use both of them just to mix and match them because there's more full boxes and I like pictures in my weekly spread more than being functional because my day is just work and family so <laughs> nothing too exciting so I gotta fill those blank space with some pretty pictures and beautiful foil stickers so this is what I'll be using the washi I've already pulled out I've learned to pull out washi's before I do the plan with me videos if you have followed me since before I always just pull it out on the whim and it takes me forever but this one I'm going to use just basic white and gold for this kit I haven't list this kit separately yet on my shop but I will do so either this afternoon or by tomorrow morning Just in case you guys missed last week's plan with me video, I'll have the link down below but I just want to show you guys what it was last week. I also used one of our foiled kits, it's called Gem and you can find that in our shop too. Shop meaning our website. Um, we are slowly moving out of Etsy and you'll find most of the new stuff and new items in our shop, pinkroomco.com you find cheaper prices for sure and also the shipping will be a lot cheaper compared to Etsy too and also you guys get to earn pinky bow points as a reward points towards your future purchases so it's a bonus 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 cheaper prices new items and earn points why not right okay let's get back into our plan with me video so this week we are planning July 23rd to July 29th before I start putting any sticker town, just want to let you know that this kit is the Happy Planner version. So that's why you see the full boxes does not fit in the Erin Condren boxes because it is a Happy Planner version. And you could always use Happy Planner, you know, stickers on your Erin Condren or vice versa. There's no rules. You could also alter it to your liking. It's just that I only have the Happy Planner version in my collection. And this will be planned in a scattered style. I don't know about you guys but my first two stickers that I always put down in my planners are my Thursday quote boxes and the top left horn left horn left hand corner stickers because those two are my two favorite spots and I like to put my two favorite stickers there I think so that I know what goes where after that like for example this kit the two kits well it's two kits but I'm combining it <laughs> is that one is more of a greener shade and the other one is a pinker shade so I want to spread out the full boxes of the green, the pink, the green, the pink, the green so that they don't clash next to each other also I don't know if you guys noticed but I did a, something a little bit different too before I put down the full boxes I put down my washi tape because before I would put down all my full boxes and then go through it with my washi tape which means it goes right on top of the full boxes but this time around I kind of want the, the washi tape to sit on the background like on the paper on its own instead of on top of the full boxes so that's what I'm doing right now putting down the washies, then my full boxes, then the washi again. I think or I'm just hoping that this way will make the spread look a bit more polished than just layering washi on top of stickers as if you just forgot or something. And it looks really good right now. Okay, so next, after I put my full boxes down, I put my meal plan stickers underneath the washies. Then after I will break it off with another skinny washi because my next section will be my to-do list. Because I'm using my HP sticker version here, you can see that it doesn't really align with the Erin Condren boxes and there's like a gap just on my Mondays of the to-do list and for me to cover that, I have to use my Ombre Heart check boxes and these are the Erin Condren version. So I'm just going to place it there and also throughout the week. I'm also going to match the color blocking of the column. So the column on Monday is green, 
then on Tuesday will be pink, Wednesday green, so on and so forth. I just wanted to make it look a bit consistent and that, you know, the colors are not plastered everywhere. Even though it's light colors, but still I find with the scattered planning, you it's a hit and miss. To finish that section off, I'm going to add a different washi at the bottom of it. While I have my washi out, I might as well put some washi borders on my sidebar. So sometimes I do struggle with my weekends. Right now I do do my banners at the top part and then full boxes in the midsection. And then um, anything that's going on that day, I'll do it at the bottom. So here I just picked out two full boxes that are kind of similar color that it matches. Put some washi's border around it. And now I'm gonna work on my weekend banner, which I'm still learning, but I think I'm starting to get a kick out of it. I'm just gonna use my flags here. That I rarely use in my kit in my weekly spread so I might as well use it as banners and it works perfectly for that too with the banners weekend banners I like to start from both outside and meet in the middle so here I'm just cutting some flags putting it on the edges and then start building my banners from the outside in I also like to spread my patterns if there's a pattern in the banner flags apart and then so I will put a solid in between them and then a pattern banner it's just to spread it out a bit more so it doesn't get too crazy with patterns but that's just me that's my style you could do whatever way you want next I'll usually put my weekend banner sticker there but I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do with the date covers because I'm not sure which color to pick so right now this is the Erin Condren sheet for the same kit I had to print it out because of the dates um, stickers so here you have with the Erin Condren version you do have two choices and it's usually two different colors that you can use so I decided to use the green one instead putting down the days of the week so I know what day it is and I'm just gonna finish my weekend so at the bottom left hand left hand bottom right hand corner I usually like to leave my next week list of things that I need to do or whatever I missed this week I could just add it there so that I could just look back and and write it down for my next week spread so we're gonna work on our sidebar here now and I usually like to use that for my Instagram um, feed to see what pictures I'm gonna post or what I should post on what day so it's seven days a week, but because of this ombre heart check boxes is only five, I need two extra one. So I found one that's similar in color and just literally Frankensteined it a bit and it works out well. I don't think you can tell. So here I was kind of hesitant with the washi because it actually lines up with the other washi on the Monday column. And I'm like, does this look too weird? Because it's like lining up and it looks like it's part of section but no it looks pretty good actually so I just positioned it there and rip and cut off the washi section so now to the bottom part of the week the bottom washi area now do you guys use that for like functional items or functional planning because I find it hard to um, decorate it because it's such a larger space compared to the happy planner so it's like a huge area that you have to fill with washi and, and I always have trouble with that because it takes up more than two three washi to fill that up but anyways back to my sidebar I'm just gonna finish the bottom off with either a picture or a sticker or a checkbox list and then I found that I do have two extra full boxes, so I'm just gonna rip one of them in half and use the top section of that and just to fill up the spots. And here I am just putting down the skinny washi just to close off the section, but then I forget, hey, why don't I just run this run skinny washi all the way through and make it as one whole long washi at the bottom, and it works. So that's what I did.
I picked up the three washi that I'll be using for this um, because I've been using these throughout the spread. Might as well use it at the bottom and just lay them on top. So here I decided to use the heart, but then I looked at it more like the skinny washi to be put on top between the two. The more I looked at it, I'm like, uh, it's way too matchy-matchy with the top of the spread. So I went and got a similar version, but it's my bow version here. And I think that looks a lot better. It just makes the section a little bit different, but not too different. And that it works very well with the spread. With the spread itself too. And I almost forgot to add my weekend stickers onto my banner so that's what I'm doing right now just to add it on. And last I'm going to work on my todays of the whole week. This weekend is going to be pretty busy for us. I do have my niece's first birthday and I'm so excited to see her again and we're going to celebrate that on Saturday. I'm going to write in my planner off camera and I'll be right back. I have a few decorative stickers left from the kit so I'm just going to use it on here. We're all done this week's spread. So I don't know if you guys noticed the difference between the mics or with when I use it without a mic, but let me know in the comments if there's a difference in the sound quality of my videos. Um, I don't know if it was a good investment or not, but to me, I think it sounds a little bit better, but you never know, right? So if you do notice or don't notice or just want to comment, just leave a comment down below. I do check and look at them every other day. Other than that, you guys have yourself a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in my next Plan With Me video. Happy planning! Bye! Bye.